with over one and a half million staff, the NHS is one of the world's largest employers. Within such a big organisation, there are an array of professions outside the doctors and nurses that we may initially think of. Today, and in every edition of this series, we will be meeting one of these professions. Hello there, I'm Dr Jake, your consultant. Right then, what's this one? April Humphreys, 92, came in following a fall with some acute and chronic confusion. She's been treated for a urinary tract infection and she's been medically fit for discharge for the last week. So what's the hold up? Well, she's seen physio and occupational therapy, but she's not mobilising very well and she's very confused. She had been living at a residential home, but they're refusing to take her back and they can't seem to find anywhere for her to go. Right, social case then, eh? Any family? Uh, one daughter lives in New Zealand, hasn't seen her for two years. Right then, refer GR. Next! What's GR? The Grim Reaper. So what exactly is your role in the trust, Mr Reaper? Well, technically I'm not known as the Grim Reaper. I'm more known as Head of the Departure Lounge. Uh, doctors and GPs can refer patients to me. Nurses can refer, but they, they have to have taken a special course to be able to do that. Most of my work is, is sort of routine sort of work. Seeing patients on the Liverpool Care Pathway, stroke patients, cancer patients, that, that sort of thing. Excuse me, Mr Reaper, would it be possible to discuss your role? Uh, not now, I'm busy. Oh, I'll still sign your book though. Go on. Sorry, so, so where, where was I? Yeah, most of the work is routine sort of work, but there is still a substantial on-call commitment. Although that's less since the European Working Time Directive came in a few years ago. We do have a, an outreach service. Sometimes we might go out to local nursing homes if they've had like, outbreaks of norovirus, C. difficile, that, that sort of thing. Uh, what I really love about my job is the chance to be creative. I mean, anybody can kill off an old lady with pneumonia. But it's giving a young man a heart attack that I find really, really rewarding. Oh, and uh, what do other members of staff think of you? Well, I don't seem to be that popular in paediatrics. Uh, I, I don't know why, but as for other areas, I, su I suppose you'll just have to ask them. So what do you think of the Grim Reaper? Oh, he's an absolute godsend. Um, I sometimes think he's the only one that ever actually listens to our targets. He's a pleasure to work with, he always strives to uh, clear bed spaces. However though, it is frustrating when uh, some old school uh, consultants who do not believe in multidisciplinary team working uh, refuse to use him. Anyway, um, I must get back to my work. Two words. Ash Cash. Oh hello there, I'm, I'm just going in to see a patient. I'm afraid this is an infection control area, so you're going to have to wait outside for the moment, if you don't mind. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to get this. Someone bleep 666? Yes. Yes, understand. I'll get there right away. Sorry about that. Uh, some SHO has been left to uh, do emergency surgery, so I'm going to have to get down there immediately. Hope I've been some help to you. Oh, yes, you have. Our viewers will definitely get something out of this. Good. Good. <laughs> 